today we're going to take a look at the Sony a7S Mark II and the Atomos Flame series. Recording high quality 4K motion with a small camera is becoming much more applicable and accepted, much to the success of the Sony a7S. Pairing the a7S and the Shogun was one of the most common setups, as the a7S could only output 4K over HDMI and required a Shogun or a Ninja Assassin to record it. The a7S Mark II packs a range of new features, including internal 4K recording. Now you may think that this means that external recording is no longer required. Here are a few differences between shooting internal and external. HDR, or High Dynamic Range, is about displaying a wider brightness range, closer to what the human eye itself can see. With the wider brightness range, you get more detail in highlights, and more detailed deeper blacks at the same time. Now you can shoot HDR on your log camera, also monitor and expose correctly for HDR with your Atomos monitor. This is definitely a seeing is believing type of technology, so to demonstrate, we are showing an SDR as well as a HDR image for you to compare. Edit and then grade for HDR using your flame as your reference monitor. Finally, you can deliver a master ready to display on HDR TVs being sold to consumers in 2016. There are a few key tools that maximize your shooting experience with the flame series. The waveform is an essential tool to making sure that you do not under or overexpose your shots. This is a vertical view of your conventional histogram that will show your light level based on where your subject is in the frame. Maintaining focus is made easy with the focus peaking tool on the flame. When you engage the focus peaking tool, you can change the edge color to whatever contrasts you're seeing. You can now be sure that your image is sharp. Using a micro HDMI to HDMI cable, connect the record out of the A7S II to the HDMI in of your Atomos 4K recorder. Power up both the camera and the Atomos recorder. Make sure you have set your Atomos 4K recorder to record HDMI on the input. Press the top left of your Atomos screen and press the input menu. The source should be set to HDMI where using a Shogun. While you are there, set trigger to HDMI. This will switch enable trigger to on. On the A7S II, set the top dial to Movies. Press the Menu button. Click over to the Setup menu. Go to Submenu 3 and choose either NTSC or PAL depending on your frame rates. We have chosen NTSC so we can shoot in 30p. If you wish to change this setting, the camera will reboot. Press the Menu button. Click over to Camera Settings, Submenu 2. To record in 4K, set the file format to XAVCS 4K. In NTSC, set the record settings to either 24p or 30p. Click over to the toolbox and tab over to submenu 3, HDMI settings. Set HDMI resolution to 2160 by 1080p. HDMI info will be greyed out. If not, then make sure it is turned off so it does not output camera information onto your Atomos recorder. Tab down and switch TC output to on. Turn rec control to on. Turn control for HDMI to on. You can now record 4K from your A7S Mark II to your Atomos 4K recorder. To record 1080p50 in PAL or 1080p5994 in NTSC, in HDMI resolution, switch to 1080p. In PAL, you can now record 1080p50. In NTSC, you can now record 1080p5994. For other frame rates, in HDMI resolution, switch to 1080i. In PAL, you can now record 1080p25 with 2-2 pull-down. In NTSC, press the menu button, click over to the camera, sub-menu 2. If you switch to a 24p record setting, you can record in either 1080p2997 with 2-2 pull-down or 1080p2398 with 3-2 pull-down. Press the shutter button on your Sony camera to clear the menu. 
you're now ready to record on your A7S Mark II and your Atomos 4K recorder. To shoot log on the A7S Mark II, click over to the camera icon, and then to submenu 6. Click down to picture profile, choose PP7 for S-Log 2, or PP8 for S-Log 3 with S-Gamut 3 Cine, or PP9 which is S-Log 3 and S-Gamut 3. You're now ready to record HDR with your A7S Mark II and the Atomus Flame series. For more information, go to atomus.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and also Instagram. And as always, happy shooting.